Hello! Yes, everyone, I am back. And that is very unexpected, as you can see. I am actually back, for once. Um, so, like, I'm here with an actual series and a consistent upload schedule, which is also very unexpected, because if you'd ever known me before, which you probably don't, I just spat out random stuff at any time that hit my fancy. So, but now, hopefully, I'm going to try and put out some stuff consistently every single day. Well, not every day, but every other day is my plan and I'm going to try and make a number of different series, hopefully. Um, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So, in this first episode, I'm going to give you a tour around this place and I'm also going to be explaining why I have been dead for so long because there have been a number of reasons that I've been dead for so long, but hopefully I will try and explain those to you. And I'm also going to explain some plans in the future what I want to put out, and when. So, yes, um, hopefully I'll actually make this channel not a dead waste of YouTube server space, because technically that's what it really is at the moment. So without further ado, I'm going to give you a tour of this lovely server that we have, the Minecraft Pridelands realm, that's been here for a while, but I haven't really done anything with it yet. But now hopefully I will, so... Let's get right into it. So, when you first join the server, you will arrive over here, right at the spawn. As you can see, it's very dead. There's nothing much here. That's probably because we decided right at the start to set up home at an island, which we call Community Island, which is about 5,000 blocks away. So most people go and join there instead of setting up home here. What we do have here, however, is a recreation of a server that I used to be a part of. And that server had a very distinct build style of just stone bricks and oak. So we've tried to recreate that over here with a with a different area that's more simple than the island. Ow. So as you can see, very simple build style. It just uses spruce and spruce and stone. And there's nothing much here, no one lives here. Well no one sets up here permanently. It's just like some standard stuff. So, what else we have here is a spruce village, which is very empty, all the villages have died, and the village is very broken, because everyone uses this place to gather up their first resources. So it's rather ruined. We've got a blown up well, a blown up house, all the farms have been trampled on. It's just a mess really, but that doesn't matter because no one lives here. Over here there's an extreme hills and a swamp, it leads to an icebergs biome, and then over here we have the spawn pillar, which is in the wrong place because I'm an idiot and I don't know where spawn is. I need to move it. This is technically where you're supposed to spawn because it's got the rules and stuff, but it's not where you spawn at all. I don't know why that part is so ruined. I need to move the spawn pillar to actual spawn and also move the spawn portal because the spawn portal is so far away from spawn that it's not really a spawn portal at all. In fact the portal at the town we've got over there is closer than the actual spawn portal. So when you go through the portal you will arrive here at probably one of my favourite parts of the server. It's the blue ice road and it's epic and it's also very difficult to navigate. But yeah, it's just a really easy, fast way of getting around. The island is 5,000 blocks away, and the journey to it is so quick. And so once you go down here, you will arrive at the unfinished nether hub, and we've got paths leading out in all directions, going to people's bases, and some areas of the server, so like that's the end portal, that's the Robbie Rotten Fortress, and that's the XP grinder, which I'll probably show you later, or well, the Robbie Rotten Fortress and my place, so that's all that else I'm going to show you. And then we've got the bedrock ceiling, which hasn't been covered up yet, because we haven't finished. And going through here, you will arrive at the community island, which is where I was at the start. It is where pretty much everyone lives. There's like three or four people who live like in the middle of nowhere because they don't like people, which is understandable to be honest. And so I'm gonna start right here 
inside the information center. This is basically the tourist information hub where the map is. So this is the map of this is the map of the island. It's got people's houses. Every time there's an area surrounded by a border, that shows where someone's house is. And then we've got over here, which is just a bunch of shops, none of which are stocked. And then we're over here. This is technically supposed to be um, public, public area. So yeah. And so I'm going to show you around the island. Let's start at the place to the left of my base, and then we'll go all the way around, finishing up over here. And then I'll take you to the Robbie Rotten Fortress and the um, the Robbie Rotten Fortress and my place, which is dead. But I'll just show you where I want to set up anyway. Okay, now I've got rid of the Discord notifications, we can actually continue with the tour. This is Zoran's house. It's just a house. I don't really need to show you around it, it's a house. Past Zoran's house is the clay shop and Dandy 63's house. I wonder if the clay shop's been restocked. Oh, the clay shop's been restocked. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. That's clay shop. This is the sheep farm. It's orange sheep, red sheep, yellow sheep, more red sheep, and some blue sheep, and some grey sheep, because it's basically just the colour of wool that we want at a time and time. And the public cow farm, which no one uses. Actually, let's use the public cow farm. Oh, I use the public cow farm. How is it Goodbye. Then we've got the public wheat farm, which no one uses either because it's really inefficient. And then we've got the wood shop, which is the only actual stocked shop on the whole server, to be honest. Is the wood shop. Only frequently stocked server. Frequently stocked server, frequently stocked shop. And then over here we have sheep, more sheep, and a hole. And we've got the carrot farm. And my wood, my wood farm, my wood shop, which is also very empty and very unstocked. Oh, there's some jungle wood here. No one wants jungle wood, so like literally no one wants jungle wood. Like, I can just as well turn this into a bunch of crafting tables. There we go. Who wants 64 crafting tables? What a load, what a load of rubbish! Jungle wood. Hate jungle wood. Should die in a hole. Anyways. I don't know why there's a second set of doors here actually. We need to get rid of this forever. There we go. Right. And so we've got a... What even is that? Beetroot? I've never eaten a single piece of that in my life. Like, I don't know why it exists. And then over here we have... The... The item shop, as I call it. It's just full of items. Like bows. A random chest plate, loads of picks, and that's it. And then over here we have the legendary Acacia Tower, which is probably the most controversial building on the entire on the entire server, apart from the mob farm over there, but that's something else. But yeah, it got struck by lightning and half it burned down anyway, so it doesn't really matter anymore. It's not the thing that's on the top of my mind. Over here we have my glass shop, which is dead, because it's all been bought and I can't be bothered to restock it. And then we have the concrete shop, which is also dead. I don't know why all these shops are dead, but they all are dead. And then we have the ink shop, which is a rip-off of concrete shop. Then we have the crafting table, which actually used to be over here, around there, but someone moved it block by block because they didn't like it there. And then across here we have the brick shop, which is also probably hasn't been restocked. I hope it has because it's my favourite shop. Has it been restocked? It has not been restocked, I expected. And then over here we have my lapis shop, which is probably empty. Yes, it's empty. And we've got the closed cobblestone shop and the redstone part shop, which I haven't been bothered to stock yet. And then again we have the information centre. So yeah, this is the this is the main part of the island. It's just at the moment it's an empty square. But we plan on putting a plaza here with a town hall where that cobblestone is. I'll probably do that in a later episode. And then we have people's houses over here. You know, technically at the start we laid it out that shops went in the savannah and houses went in the plains. 
but we scrapped that rather early on because people were just building tons of shops and um, no one wanted to build houses so we just decided let's just put public services over here as well and shops and all sorts so that's why the savannah is so dense and the plains is so empty because like we only need like four houses but people like building shop after shop over here we have Vitani's house with the unconventional entrance this is probably my favourite building on the island it's the only one that actually looks half decent so yeah it's a house full of chests how exhilarating and over here we have um, some some random cactus farms one that's been blown up and hasn't been fixed yet and we also have some public services so this is the this is the cow shed with cows in it and the pig farm which no one uses because who cares about pigs and then the absolutely manic chicken farm which you cannot enter without exiting with a stack of eggs at least and then over here we have the very well lit the very well lit half blown up public smelting room which is just a smelter which I haven't finished yet because I plan on putting a second smelter on that floor and then in the attic I plan on putting just some normal furnaces but that'll be finished soon and then we have a basic public wheat farm which is just with wheat and nothing else then over here we have Dippo's house which is very dead it has one chest in it and a crafting table and that's it and then we have Propozoid's place with the hovering island and the awful roof and then over here we have the nut shack which is a pointless building that just seems the nut shack when you walk through it and then you have Neb's place which is empty because he moved out Newt's house which is also the place of stripping logs oops I'm sure you won't notice and then over here we have Dillis's house which is also dead most of the houses are dead to be honest and then the best shop in the server the one that sells elytras and vending books it is the best shop in the server I disagree I disagree with what nothing and then we have over here we have like the basic farms we have a stone generator and we have a dark oak farm over here and then we have probably the most important part of the server, the spruce farm if you plant a spruce tree outside of this area you will die, it is punishable by death because it leaves an absolutely disgusting podsole patch that someone has to clear so that's a warning and then over here we have the birch farm that's my fish farm and the oak farm and then we're back to where we started from so that is my tour of the community island we're now going to go down into my place and as you can see my place is rather blown up because I'm notorious for not lighting things so therefore it has some very unconventional entrances can I please fly down the staircase thank you ow right so over here we have my beacon beam and we have some corridors full of empty rooms so we just got loads of ah this is, this is my smelter it's just a smelter nothing exciting and a room for the random chests which are empty and then at the end I think there's supposed to be a tree farm but someone stole the saplings that's very, it's a very useless tree farm to be honest it just doesn't do anything so that's that and then over here we have the staircase that goes down here and the place to, that goes to Vitani's underground area and then another corridor these rooms are incomplete i'll probably be completing these in another episode and as is all this it's all incomplete so yeah nothing much is done here and then down here we have the only useful part of the base two em no oh, there's that's where my nether wall farm is i keep on losing things in this space because it's just so hard to navigate over here we have my chanting room nothing much exciting there and then my cow farm which people keep using then we've got my storage room which also has a little dive farm and a couple of brewing stands and then my wheat farm and carrot farm 
Right at the end here we have my lob spawner, which doesn't work. And then down here we have the output of the lob spawner. And this goes to my mine, which is useless because um, all the area underneath the island has been completely mined out. And it also goes to my favourite part of the server, which is the dip hole. Someone used to have a house up there, but someone demolished their house, dug an exact one chunk hole down, and put their house in the hole. So, I just found it funny. So this is someone's house. It also connects to every single mine in the server. So yeah, that's the that's the basics of the community island. And now I'm probably going to show you the Robbie Rotten Fortress, which is an incomplete project I'm working on. So without further ado, let's go straight to that. So this is the Robbie Rotten Fortress. As you can see, the project is incomplete because I could be bothered to finish it. Anyway, if you don't know me, I run an adventure series on this channel where it's basically just a really badly animated series where characters do stuff, long story short. And one of the areas in that series is the Robbie Rotten Fortress, which is a wooden castle that contains Robbie Rotten, who is a character in... It's not only just a character in Lazy Town, but a character in my series as well. So I decided why not recreate that building of the Robbie Rotten Fortress on the realm. And so I've, I've marked it out. And I've got all the materials for it, but I haven't finished it yet. I will probably be finishing this at another episode. So look out for that. But yeah, this is the Robbie Rotten Fortress. Not really much to say about it, considering the fact that it's supposed to be made out of wood, but I made it out of hardened clay because um, there's no dyed wood. How sad. But yeah, this is supposed to, re to represent vertical logs that are being painted, and it's actually quite accurate with the colours that I used in the cartoon version of Robbie Rotten Fortress. So yeah, I will probably be finishing this soon. So, the final place that I'm going to be going to over here on the server is my place, which is where I plan on spending most of my time building. So yeah, let's go over there right now. So finally, what we have is my area. So what I plan on doing here is I plan on putting a castle right on this bit of land. As you can see, why I chose this area is that we've already got a rather nice shaped moat marked out by the river, by the swamp, and then by the little lake over there. So all this is going to be completely flattened and filled in. This village is probably going to get blown up at some point because I don't need it. However, what we do have is another village over here, which is where I'm going to put a villager breeder and hopefully get enough villagers to populate a little medieval town that I plan on building next to the castle. So this moat's going to be probably dug deeper, probably put a few traps in there, and then the castle is going to go right around here. I haven't designed the castle yet, but I really do hope to get a good design before I start building it. I'm kind of restricted on space, but not really. I've got a nice big area over here to put the keep, and hopefully I'll want to have two sets of walls set up. So yeah, that's going to be really cool. So yeah, um, this is my area, this is where I plan on spending most of my time. And so, the other point of this video is for me to explain what I'm going to do here from now on, and why I haven't uploaded a video in six months. So I'm going to be doing that through a time-lapse chat, hopefully I'll be able to do a time-lapse chat. I haven't done one of these before, it might take a while to set up, but I'm going to be mining some ores that I've silk-touched. So I'll just be building up a pile of ores and mining them in a time-lapse chat. Just to explain what I'm going to do on this channel and why I've been so dead. So without further ado, if it works, I'm going to go straight on to that right now. So, see you there. 
So in this first time lapse, I'm going to be discussing about the fool this channel has not seen a proper video in over half a year. Now I was expecting to take a break over the time I was doing my A-levels exams anyway, however when they finished you probably know that the UK had a massive heatwave for over a month, and it was too hot to do literally anything. Now my old computer just stops working when the ambient temperature exceeds 30 degrees, which you can see in my trumpet boy meme video which had a lovely 5 fps throughout it and it looked absolutely terrible as well as my computer being unable to function in hot temperatures i cannot either so i didn't make any videos as soon as the heat wave was over i visited scotland for four weeks this meant i had incredibly awful internet over a month that died once every minute as soon as I returned from this, I had the unfortunate business of having to prepare for university. This was fine as I expected to be able to start everything properly when I arrived. However, this was not the case as I just lost all motivation and this was the time when YouTube was treating their creators like trash and dealing out false strikes left and right. There was also the threat of Article 13 that I was not feeling the best that I normally do. I also had no computers, the GPU from my last one got completely and utterly murdered by the heatwave and simply melted itself to the, the board. I only had a temporary £195 box which could not do anything, and it was awful. After Christmas, however, I had a new setup and was actually motivated. However, once again, I had exams. Now these are done, I hope to be able to get a video out every other day. This may be difficult in the start, as I'll be getting used to video creation again. However, I hope to be getting some more series done, which I will explain here. Firstly, this series is going to be maintained about me building my castle in my area, which with a bit focused around the community island and also an industrial area, which I plan to put some farms in. That will probably go absolutely terribly because I cannot do farms. I'll also be starting up a single player which I'll start from scratch and I'll also customise it a bit with a customised texture pack and also some data packs to enable custom crafting. I'll likely make a separate video explaining why I, what I have customised when that is set up. I also plan on continuing my original adventure series probably with some videos that are easier to make and also shorter than the ones I've done before. I do really want to keep this series going, however I understand that some of the videos can be a bit too slow paced to watch and also a bit too hard to make. I'll probably be seeing the TQTDTME format shown on my friend's channel. Finally I'll be uploading a series where I view each and every one of the Lion Guard episodes in order. Under a selection of categories, I feel that YouTube is lacking a good selection of Lion Guard reviews as most reviewers simply watched the abomination as was the return of Raw and left it at that. Hopefully by the end we'll have my favourite and least favourite Lion Guard episodes in the list. Finally, if there is a topic that interests me, I'll be putting up a commentary video on it, although be warned quite a few of these will probably become a rant. I'll try and make some memes if I find one that's funny and have a good idea, though don't expect them to be as frequent as they used to be. I hope you enjoyed this unexpected video. I'll be including a link to the Discord associated with this realm in the description, so if you want to join this you will find everything you need there. If you liked the video then you know what to do, this has been MattGuy3135, and I am out until the next one. Goodbye.